let's talk about the rotational goblet squat now. We're going to get in the same position as we did with the goblet squat. Now the key differences here are that we are shifting our weight to one side or the other. Now while we shift our weight from one side to the other, the key here is making sure we don't shift forward, but we're shifting into our hip. We want to, that is the key mistake that I see with the rotational goblet squat is that the knee comes forward. We're not doing a side lunge. We are sitting into the hip. So let's kind of go over that real quick. I'm going to get in position. My feet are very similar to a normal squat, maybe a little bit wider to allow for that shifting of, of hip as well and weight and having a little bit more stability. So I'm going to shift back maintaining that tension through the position and I drive right back up. I'm not trying to stand up. This is another mistake people make when they're doing their rotational goblet squats. When I sit into this position, I'm trying to drive the floor away from me to maintain that tension in my quads and my glutes. If I try to stand, I'm going to use a little bit of body um, uh, explosiveness and strength, which we don't. We, we are trying to strengthen the hips with this exercise. So we would get in position, we're shifting our weight into the hip, driving back up, and then we reset and go right back to the other side. This would be the incorrect way to do this, as you would shift forward and shift forward. We want to sit into the hip on this exercise. It's not an easy exercise, take it slow. Make sure that you are moving the hips in a rotational manner.